there are many of us languishing in countries under Islamic rule where criticism of religion and any form of free thought and dissent can even be punished by death. And of course, there are many of us who voted with our very own feet to say no to these rules by fleeing and trying to reach safer havens. What never ceases to amaze me that despite the risks, the sheer numbers of those who are saying no to these rules and regulations. And of course, what it shows more fundamentally than anything else is that no matter where we're born, no matter where we live or where we're raised, this need and demand and desire for freedom of conscience is a very basic human one and a very basic human right. I think one of the things we forget is that when we speak about the right to freedom of conscience, it's not just the right to religion, it's also the right to be free from religion, to criticize religion, to mock religion. Ayatollah Facebook, for too long you have sided with the inquisitors. You have sided with those who are trying to silence, threaten and even kill ex-Muslims and blasphemers and dissenters. But one thing you need to remember is that no amount of censorship and threats is going to stop the deluge. Progress cannot come without dissent. The Enlightenment, it's coming.